Well, lately, a lot of businesses, both local and national, have announced that they're ditching plastic straws. It's an effort to help the environment. 13 News Now anchor Philip Townsend dug a little deeper into the movement. The plastic straw, a product that seems so simple, but one of the biggest polluters, acting as harmful fish food and tangling up marine animals. But the big revolt against the straw now, possibly because of something that happened back in 2003. Shortly after the SARS respiratory illness that spread to more than two dozen countries that year, more people started using more straws to avoid germs. Today, 500 million straws are used in the U.S. every single day, according to the National Park Service. <laughs> Campaigns with clever names like Straw Wars and Straw Suck, major companies from restaurants to airlines taking notice and implementing bans of their own. She's going to be so happy. And it's this video that got things moving. A four inch section of plastic straw being pulled out of a coaster we can see turtles nostril. Oh my God. That is just freaking. It now has 32 million views on YouTube. It's considered the catalyst for the anti-straw movement. And it's a movement that's now reached Hampton Roads. Dozens of businesses and restaurants have given them up altogether. The Virginia Zoo in Norfolk switched to paper straws and Bush Gardens, along with its parent company, SeaWorld Entertainment, announced its own ban back in June. Final thought, many of us still use plastic bags, even though they're considered a similar culprit. But I bet you've second guessed using a straw lately. And that's just it. The anti-straw campaign has been so successful, not just because of these law changes and regulations, but because of its ability to change consumer habits. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.